On a new SQL Server 2022 instance, do you default to Vercare or NVercare when you're designing new strings? I simply ask, do we need to store Unicode in here? And Japanese kanji characters, you know, strange kinds of strings, or is this simply an American database designed for Americans that holds American type stuff in it? Because I work primarily with United States companies, I have a few Canadian and European clients, but it's a much smaller number. If I had to guess, I'd say I'm 90%, maybe 95% American companies. Um, then the vast majority of databases that I work with, uh, they're just supporting American names and part numbers and strings and whatnot. Um, if you look, even when you're doing things like email addresses or websites, if you go check to see what the, the standards support, odds are you're still going to be just stuck with Vercare type things. Um, now, having said that, that's you asked when I design stuff, what do I do? I start by asking that. Um, but what I see most often out in the field is NVercare is used much more often because Entity Frameworks uh, Code First stuff tends to create NVercare without asking. <laughs>